Hello and welcome to A Thousand Simple Recipes. Today I'm in the kitchen making one of my favorite Mexican snacks, the burrito. And in this video, I will do a bean version, but you can be really creative with this and use some roasted or barbecued meats, rice, salads, roasted peppers and onions. And with a guacamole and a tomato salsa, this is a really flavorsome snack. So without further ado, Let's make a Mexican burrito. Here's our ingredients for our burrito and I've got some guacamole here which I've done in another video so check the link and also I've done a tortilla or flatbread also check check that out in another link but you can buy those things in the supermarket if you don't have the time I've got some tomato paste some grated cheddar cheese some refried beans I've got some cocoa powder cumin powder some dried oregano some fresh mint lime juice I've got some red onion and some garlic I've got some chopped tomato some coriander and some fresh chilies and as always the recipe and the ingredient list is in the description box below so the first thing I'm going to do is make a tomato salsa and I'm just going to de I've de-seeded and basically all you do is just chop your uh, tomato into quarters or eighths and, and just take the seeds out of them like that and then chop them finely now with our onion I've got a whole onion that I've just chopped and I'm just going to add those to the uh, salsa and I'm, I've got some four or five mint leaves and I think mint goes really well with uh, this tomato salsa and so I'm just going to slice that up and we'll just roughly slice that up it doesn't have to be too small and I'll just add that to the, the salsa and I'll add my about half a bunch of coriander a pinch of dried oregano half a teaspoon of salt and I've just got a yellow um, habanero chili this is optional of course if you like it hot I'm just going to slice that up finely and put that in as well. And of course, I've got uh, one lime that I've just juiced, and we're just going to pour that through. And we'll mix that up. And what you can do is put this into a fridge for an hour while you refry the beans, and the longer it sits there, the more those flavours will really come together really nicely and it'll be an absolutely delicious tomato salsa. So I'm just going to cover that. I'll put some of that yellow chilli in and uh, that's it for our tomato salsa and on to our refried beans. So doing our refried beans, we've, I've just got about two or three tablespoons of olive oil in there. I'm just going to throw in one dried red chilli. Now this is optional of course. I'm just going to let that fry up. And I'm going to throw in about a quarter of a teaspoon of dried oregano, uh, some garlic, about a clove and a half two to two cloves of garlic. Just going to fry all those up. And then we will throw in our half a red onion that I've chopped finely. With the onions, I just want a little bit of colour into the onions. I don't want to cook them too much, but I just want them to get a little bit of colour. That's just starting to colour now, and that's been on for about two, two and a half minutes. And now I'm just going to add my coke, about half a teaspoon each of cocoa and cumin powder. And that's going to give it a nice, the beans, the refried beans, a really nice rich taste. And we're just going to fry those up for a few seconds. And um, 
I'm just going to throw in a tablespoon of tomato paste now. I'm just going to fry, put that to one side and fry that to get the tartness out of the tomatoes. And, and that, that's um, maybe probably 15 seconds I'll fry that up for and then add it to the rest of the, mix it through the onions and the spices. So we, basically what we're trying to do is just build layers into the refried beans. So that's about enough and I'm just going to mix those all through now. And when we de-seeded the tomatoes for our tomato salsa, I, um, we're just going to use all those de-seeded uh, tomatoes and we're going to add that. We'll just cook that up for a few minutes and I'm just going to add about one teaspoon of sugar just to balance out the acidity in the tomatoes. And we'll just fry that up for a few minutes and then we'll add our refried beans. So this has been on for about three or four minutes and I'm now going to add my refried beans. Now I've got probably one can. The other thing I'm going to add is just about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt to the mix and we'll just cook those up for a few minutes and I'm just going to mash probably half of them like this and um, the rest will leave um, the way they are, hold. And this has been on for about, oh, 10 minutes and I'm just going to turn the heat off that and we'll wrap up our burrito. Now I've got my fresh tortilla that I've just made but if you're using one from a supermarket or a shop, just give it a quick blast of heat either in the microwave or 15 seconds on a hot pan on either side just to loosen up so it's easy to roll. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put some cheese down across my burrito because I'm also, once we've rolled our burrito, I'm going to put it on a fry pan and quickly fry it so this cheese will melt once it hits the heat. So you want it close to the bread. just put that into the uh, onto the fry pan so and that will also help the flatbread hold together when you're eating it so now I've just browned this on each side for 15 or 20 seconds and now it's ready to eat so here we have our Mexican burrito and I can't wait to take a bite out of this and mmm I tell you with a salsa the melted cheese and the refried beans, that is a great combo. So that's all I have for you this week. So you'll have to come back and see me next week on a thousand simple recipes. Bye.